Planning for robotics is powerful but slow. We are interested in meta-planning, learning to plan better and faster from previous experience. But what exactly should be learned? We propose that the agent should learn to impose constraints on itself to cut down the space of possible plans. For example, consider the NAMO, Navigation Among Movable Obstacles domain. The agent must reach the red object, moving obstacles along the way. If the agent imposes a state constraint that forbids itself from entering certain rooms, then it no longer needs to consider plans that enter those rooms. Or consider this sequential manipulation domain, where the robot must move the red objects into the bins on the right. If the agent imposes a constraint that allows only top grasps and forbids placing objects in already occupied bins, it must only consider plans that obey this constraint. Our main insight is that we can automatically reap additional benefits by learning to impose constraints. When state and action variables are factored, imposing constraints induces context-specific independences, rendering some variables irrelevant to the task. These irrelevant variables can be ignored for faster planning. For example, in the NAMO domain, the constraint on rooms renders all variables pertaining to objects in the forbidden rooms irrelevant. In the sequential manipulation domain, the top grasp constraint renders the blue objects irrelevant, and the constraint on bins renders the green objects irrelevant. In graphical model terms, imposing a constraint induces context-specific independences between variables in a factored transition model. Imposing constraints and dropping variables induces an abstract MDP that we call a context-specific abstract MDP, or CAMP. We address two learning problems. One, given a black box transition model like a physics simulator to learn the context-specific independences. Two, given a set of training tasks, learn a context selector that predicts a good constraint to impose on a given task based on features of the task, like a top-down image of the scene in NAMO. Given a new test task, we query the context selector for a constraint to impose and determine which variables to ignore from the learned CSIs. We then plan in the reduced task and execute the found policy. This results in a high reward with only a low computational cost incurred from planning and execution. A learned reactive policy is very cheap to compute but often yields low rewards since generalizing from the training to the test tasks is very challenging. On the other hand, pure planning would yield high rewards but at a high computational cost since planning in the full task can take a long time. Camps lie between the extremes of relative policy learning and pure planning, optimizing this trade-off between rewards and computational time. In experiments, we evaluate this reward compute trade-off for camps and baselines on five planners and four domains. We find that camps consistently outperform baselines in terms of this trade-off. In the NAMO domain, camps readily identify good constraints to impose and variables to drop, resulting in fast planning and high returns. CAMP's performance in the sequential manipulation domain, too, is good, dramatically cutting down on the state and action variables that must be considered. We conclude that camps offer a promising approach to meta-planning in factored domains.